Hi, I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. It's a rare time that I put my phone down to gesture with both of my hands, but I feel like this is definitely one of those times. Canada, calm down. Honestly, Stephen Palaz came out today and said, you know what? There's no predetermined path for interest rate hikes. You know, he's backing off the hawkishness. Look, look, it's not going to change anything. Just breathe it out. We were in an economy with very, very low interest rates for a long time, waiting for this economy to find its footing. The economy has finally found some semblance of that footing. While that footing is imperfect, the economy is definitely moving in the right direction. Have we had a couple interest rate hikes recently? Yes, of course we have. The Bank of Canada needs to do that. Canada still has to run a country. They've got a whole job as well. But for us to get all up in arms like that, because of what Stephen Palaz does, or to assume that there's like some preordained direction that we're working in, is definitely not the right way to go about thinking this. First off, what Canada's going to do is they're going to see this through as the dominoes fall. Now, I can't tell you how that's actually going to play out. I don't think anybody could. But we need to let the actual professionals run the government the way they believe the right way is. And Stephen Palaz and the Bank of Canada, so far, what I thought the two rate hikes were the right call. Second, they don't need everybody in the economy freaking out every time something like this happens. You have to remember, if your interest rates go up, Let's just say they go up. They just went up, right? Stephen Palaz raised them. Inflation's going up. Cost of living, all that stuff. Housing is going up. But you know what else is going up? The amount of money you make. The amount of money you make is going up all the time. The reason these interest rates are going up is because Canada is doing better. So when you look at it as one individual standalone fact, yeah, are you going to have to pay higher interest rates on stuff? Yeah, you're going to have to. Anything you go get a loan on, mortgages, all this kind of stuff, you're going to have to pay a bit of a higher interest rate. But does that not mean as a whole that our prosperity has finally somewhat returned to a state of normal? That's what we've been looking for. That's what we want is we want solid ground to walk on here in Canada. We want to make sure that we feel adequate compared to all these other countries, these major powerhouse countries that we compete with on a global scale. We're about 40 million people here. Sure, we cover a lot of square footage but we don't cover the same same amount of populace. We don't cover the same market spaces that a lot of other countries do for us to be finally back on some stable ground and moving forward. And trust me, we are moving forward. We are not moving backward here in Canada. Two very nominal, very nominal quarter percent rate hikes is nothing to get all in a tizzy about. Trust me, I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. Click the subscribe button, notification bell, leave a thumbs up if you like this. Please leave me a comment. Let me, let me know what you think about interest rate hikes. Let me know what you think about anything. We want to hear it. Have a good day out in the markets. Thanks for stopping by.